When I first went to Sidwell in the sixth grade, it was a very warm and, and comfortable place to be uh, as a young person growing up. After leaving Sidwell, I thought I wanted to be an engineer. So I took an introductory course in engineering that they had at Haverford in the, in those days, and it was the dullest thing you could ever imagine. I, by the time I was a sophomore, I was, I was quite lost about what I was, was going to do. And, and my uncle said, well, what, what uh, course did you like best when you were in Sidwell? And I thought back on that, and I said, well, biology, clearly biology. And he said, well, then why don't you uh, think about going into medicine? And I said, well, I don't know that I don't like the sight of blood. I don't know that I would last very long in that profession. But as it turned out, I majored in biology and did, did go to medical school. After I got out of medical school uh, and was in residency in New York, one of my fellow interns said that there's this new program called the Office of International Research. And I ended up going to, to Calcutta, thinking I was working on infectious diseases. I was going to work on cholera. liver guy, he said, well, why do you want to study cholera? Everybody's studying cholera. I said, why, why don't you go out there and study these patients with this unusual liver disease? Nobody knows what it, what's causing this. But I ended up uh, working on these patients with idiopathic portal hypertension and fell in love with the, with the liver right there in, in India. During while I was there, I looked for a, a training program uh, in, in liver disease. So I came to Yale in 1966. The lipoproteins, the proteins that carry cholesterol in your blood, had just been discovered in NIH, and, and uh, so we thought we'd study the, how they were made. And to do that, uh, we would ha needed to develop a isolated, perfused uh, liver preparation, uh, which we did from, from, from rats. When I saw this isolated preparation, I became absolutely passionate about trying to find out how that was occurring. And that really was the driving force that uh, led, led me to, uh, and continues to, to lead me to, to study this, this process. Well, I was very happy here, here at Yale, and, and uh, I got this offer from the University of Chicago, and I never thought that I would move uh, out of New England. It turned out to be a major important uh, move ac academically for me because it removed me in the eyes of others from under, under the, my mentor's influence. I was there six years, and then I was asked to to return to, uh, to Yale, and so uh, back we came. So very early on in my career, back in 1971, I think it was, I went up to the Mount Desert Island Biological Laboratory to look for a species whose anatomy of the liver was amenable to uh, get access to the cells that were producing the bile. And made, we made some of our most important uh, discoveries from working on more primitive uh, animals, particularly the skate, a very satisfying part of my, my career. For me, success is seeing the people that I've trained and have come to work with me over the years uh, go on and flourish in, in, in their own careers. And that's probably the most important, uh, most rewarding uh, part of, of, of my career. Mm -hmm.